Greetings from Seattle. What up y'all, it's the Black Critic Guy, and today I'm here to review the movie Snow White and the Huntsman. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed this movie a lot. Now I know you're all gonna be bashing at me like, Oh, but Chris Stewart's in the movie, it's stupid, man. Forget that noise, okay? I actually really like Kristen Stewart in this movie, and I still stand by my words when I say that I think Kristen Stewart is a decent, not great, not good, but a decent actress, and she was a decent actress in this movie, and I liked her. So the basic premise of Snow White and the Huntsman is it's a darker retelling of the story of Snow White, where the queen kills the king and pretty much takes over the kingdom and throws Snow White into... A tower. Snow White escapes from the tower, hides in the dark forest, gets tracked down by the Huntsman who later joins her team, and they all now need to go and defeat the Queen. Now I saw a lot of reviews for this movie because you know I saw it late as you can tell, but a lot of people really liked it, some people didn't like it, some people were like, oh Chris is stupid, I don't want to watch her. But like I said earlier, I really enjoyed the movie and I really think people are hating on Chris Stewart a bit too much. I really think that if she uproots herself out of the Twilight series, people will start to look at her and actually like her as an actress. I'll give you an example of a person that I think she kind of relates to, Channing Tatum. Now, when I first saw Channing Tatum, I hated the guy's guts. I thought it was the worst actor to come in like 20 years. And now all of a sudden, you know, after 21, after seeing 21 Jump Street and The Vow, I really enjoy him. He's actually a decent actor and he's actually fun to watch. And I think that once Kristen Stewart gets out of her range of, you know, being this awkward teenage girl and starts breaking out in other roles, people might actually enjoy her in other things. Now let's get off the whole Kristen Stewart topic and actually discuss the movie. Now what made this movie really awesome was these fantastic visuals. This movie is visually stunning. I mean, the way that the dark forest looked, it was dark, it was ominous, it was creepy. It was awesome. And then you got this like this place called the sanctuary where all the fairies and beautiful things live. And again, it's just spectacular visuals and awesome effects. Also going off of visuals, the cinematography is breathtaking. Like when you see them like filming the castle or like filming long shots or just filming the forest in general, they did a phenomenal job in the cinematography in this movie. The action scenes were handled so perfectly that you would have thought that the person who was directing this action has been directing a movie for like 20 years, but it's actually a first time director and he did a solid job in directing this movie and directing the action scenes because they all were entertaining, they were all fun to watch, and they kicked some ass. The acting in this movie was very superb. Now, like you know already, I really did like Kristen Stewart in this role. She did have a few things like she always would smile like this or she always, when she talked or when she just looked at something, she had her mouth open like... Just a few problems with like her facial expressions, but otherwise her acting was very decent. Chris Hemsworth owns the role of the Huntsman. Man, you give that guy any weapon and he can go kick ass in like five seconds. You give that guy a hammer, he becomes Thor. You give that man an axe, he becomes the Huntsman and just goes and wails on people. That guy was awesome. And Charlize Theron plays one of the coolest villains I've seen in like two years. She was menacing, she was creepy, she had some depth to her. And she just played this villain so perfectly that honestly, I would I fall in love with her any day of the week. I honestly would. Charlie Stern, you're worth it. And I like the dwarves, though. One of the main problems I had with the movie was that they were barely there. I mean, you get them like nearing the end of the movie or in the middle somewhere, and we get a few scenes with them, but we don't really get a lot. And I wanted at least 40 to 45 minutes of pure dwarves, but. Eh, we got what we got. Another thing that really irritated me about this movie, and I know they did this on purpose, was that they threw in this other love interest, this friend that she had since they were kids, and a buddy buddy, and they tried to play off this like romance, and I'm like, really? Are we turning this to Snow White, the Twilight Saga? I mean, seriously. Just because Kristen Stewart is in the movie does not mean this movie needs to be just like Twilight. I mean, no. And for some reason, the movie felt like it was like 3 hours and 50 minutes long. Like, this movie felt long. And when I checked my watch when we got out, it was like hour 57 minutes long. I'm like, whoa, how did... 
how did this movie feel like three hours yet it was only an hour and 57 minutes that was weird but overall Snow White and the Huntsman is a fantastic movie with awesome visuals spectacular direction great cinematography good acting and great action scenes and I know I'm gonna get heat for this grading but I can't help it I really enjoyed this movie a lot I'm gonna give this movie a 4.5 out of 5 stars it's a near perfect film but anyway what did you guys think of this film did you like it a lot did you hate it did you think Kristen Stewart was blah and also let me know what is your favorite storybook movie or fairy tale movie I think I asked you that before mirror mirror but I'm gonna ask you again anyway cuz I'm just like that anyway I'm the black critic guy bridging the gap between movies and anime reviews till then peace YouTube